Here's another live look from the southernmost point in Key West, which is feeling the effects of Hurricane Idalia. Tourists seem to be enjoying the change of weather, and thankfully, Idalia is steering clear of the Conquer Republic. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is live with a look at the conditions there right now. Janine. We are at the White Street Pier. This is the south end of the island, and you can see just how strong these winds are. In fact, check this out. Look at the waves right here on the water. This could be very dangerous. In fact, so much so that just a short time ago, there was a kite surfer who ended up in the power lines. Let's take a look at video from just a short time ago. According to Key West Fire Rescue, he was able to detach and he's going to be OK. But you can see crews restoring the power and fixing that power line. No doubt up and down the keys. Everyone feeling the effects of this storm. Stormy weather and whipping winds at this resort in Key West. Palm trees swaying, the patio getting soaked. Although the Florida Keys won't take the brunt of Idalia, plenty of rain bands are coming through, churning up water and making a mess. The local 10 tower cam above Mallory Square getting pummeled. And the famed southernmost point buoy is showered by crashing waves. The Key West airport is technically open, but most flights are canceled. Squalls are making their way northeast up the island chain. Isla Mirada hit with bands producing lightning, making driving dangerous. In this canal front neighborhood in Key Largo, you can see dark clouds. The water is higher than usual. There was really a lot of rain here in Key West, but you can see the rain has now subsided, but there is still a lot of wind. Look at this White Street Pier, a lot of tourists, a lot of people are hanging out. We did speak to the Monroe County Fire Chief who tells us overall, even despite this incident here in Key West with that kite surfer, no major incidents to report. The officials here in Monroe County say they send their strength and their prayers to everybody in the path of this storm. We're in Key West. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. Good to hear no major incidents. Thanks, Janine.